Well, hey guys, this is DK Spencer, and well, here's a good little cross section of the pistols available for less lethal. I've probably left something out. Um, I've definitely left something out. I've got a PPQ over there I didn't put in, but it's going to be kind of interchangeable with this as far as everything that we're going to be saying. Um, I've got a TCP here. Uh, this one obviously has a long barrel and a long comp. It's going to be interchangeable with the FSC for the purpose of this video. There are a couple of slight differences in them. Uh, this one is geared to let you go ahead and put the uh, first strike rear air kit on the back of it. Um, it's got screw holes in the back that the TCP does not have. The TCP from the factory comes with a better barrel than the FSC, but either one of them, if you're doing less lethal stuff, you're going to change the barrel anyway. So again, for the intents and purposes of this, vi uh, this video, uh, that I'm going to use FSC and TCP interchangeably. So let's go through them real quick. We got a Berna LE. We've got the Mercury Rise Intra Buster. Now the Mercury Rise Intra, Intra Buster is a uh, from what I understand, the exact same pistol as the X Pistola made in the same factory, all that stuff. Um, there has been some confusion with that uh, as far as different people saying different things, like that this was just a knockoff that was copied. Um, the last thing that I've heard, and I'm definitely not an authority on this, but a pretty reliable source told me that it's not that it's a knockoff, it's that they're all made in the same place and rebranded. Perhaps one of the companies come up with the design, then the manufacturer actually made it for some other people too. That's what I hear. Don't hold me to that, but this definitely does not strike me as a as a generic copy of something that, that is junk. I think from what I can tell looking at looking at the other pictures and everything they look to be identical. I would say that they do seem like they are probably made at the exact same factory. Again, don't hold me to that, but anyway. Um so we've got the Pepperball TRP, we've got the Grimberg Gavel, we've got an FSC, we've got Salt Supply Company S2, we've got a Berna SD, so the SD and the HD are going to be interchangeable for the for the, the intents of this video. We've got a HDR50. We've got a Gen 5 Humorex Glock 17. And we've got a Berna LE over here that has actually had the Merciless Lethal 12 gram adapter and a comp put on. This is not a Merciless Lethal comp. This is a um, epoxy comp that my wife did. The uh, Merciless Lethal comps look a little more matching and stuff, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to compare some sizes for you guys. Uh, that was actually what was being asked on me about, you know, the concealability of different stuff. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, the two big things that a lot of people are looking at right now are these two. And the reason for that is right out of the box, these two have excellent power. Um, this one tested out of the box. The first, uh, first cylinder I shot through it hit 45. The second one hit 50. Uh, definitely some other reputable channels testing these and also hitting 50. So I do think that these are 50. Um, and as far as if, you know, somebody sending me one of these to test, nothing on this table has been sent to me to test from anybody. I've paid, uh, well, actually for this one, I paid more than everybody else because I didn't use the discount code like an idiot. So I paid 400 for this. Everybody else is getting them for 350. But uh, none of these have been sent to me, not the Grimberg, nothing. Uh, so all of this is, you know, completely unsolicited, <laughs> whatever. All right, so let's start with this, the Berna LE. All right, so the Berna LE, very popular option. Um, my biggest gripe with Berna, uh, with the LE, is that I got a hold of some that were not the power they were supposed to be. However, if they are the power they're supposed to be, then they're pushing in the mid-20s, mid-20 joules, like 24, I believe, is what uh, what these tested at. Pretty positive that one tested at 24. I need to redo that one. But anyway, uh, just know if you buy one, you should chrono it and test it because I did get a hold of uh, at least a couple, <laughs> actually three, that were testing very, very low numbers. Um, so, you know, buy one, 
uh, from a dealer, uh, test it, and if it's not what it's supposed to be, get in touch with them, send it back, get it fixed, get a new one, whatever. All right, so what advantage does the Berna ha uh, LE have? All right. And, and here's the thing. I knock on Berna pistols. Now, I love the TCR, but Tipman gets the credit for that. Berna just bought the design. I think the TCR is probably it's my second favorite less lethal thing that you can get, honestly. It's very versatile. I'm not going to go into all that because this is about pistols. But anyway, just to say I'm not hating on everything Berna has. I have done some hate videos on the Illy because of the aforementioned uh, consistency with power. Um with i've had a couple of sds i've still got my original hd these are less powerful but i've had zero issues with them and they actually do put out the power uh, every one of them i've had has put out the power they're supposed to put out but that's still only about 10. i've actually had one of these that was less than 10 which you know that kind of ticked me off so anyway um the advantages of the burners over anything else on this table is that they pierce when you pull the trigger. So you do not have anything you've got to twist like these. You don't have anything you got to slap that hangs down low like those or like this or like this. And they managed to even make this one gaudier looking by putting red on it. So anyway, um, you do not uh, you do not have to do any of that stuff. You pull the trigger. If the safety is on and you pull the trigger, it will pierce. Then you cut the safety off and you can shoot. Or you can leave the safety off and pull the trigger and it will shoot as soon as you pull the trigger. But you will lose um, some power when you do that, like 50 feet per second, depending on what ammo you're using. But you'll definitely lo you lose enough power to matter if you don't pre-pierce it first and just let it shoot the first time. All right, so this is not adjustable. Uh, you cannot adjust the power on it. And I'm going to show you guys, like size-wise, with the intrabuster, if you line up the trigger guards, your front end of it is about the same length. Your back end of it uh, is longer on the intrabuster. Um, and as far as the grip goes, you're going to see that the Berna LE is much more concealable because it does not have as long a grip and the thing sticking down to make it even longer. All right, so the, the Berna LE has two magazine options, five round and seven round. Uh, the seven round I do not trust for anything other than the 9.9 .9 gram riot balls or like the 3.7 gram really slick, uh, cheap yellow balls. Cheap yellow balls, if you're a subscriber and know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, this, you know, I've got a five round mag in it. I would never, ever, ever use chemical rounds in a seven round mag that is asking for trouble. The seven round mag is kind of a double stack design um, and it is just not very good. Um, my biggest pet peeve with the LE is this setup. Not only does it put your accessories, like if you put a light on it, it drops that down right here. So you're actually having to reach down uh, to cut it on, right? And it's plastic. So you've got, when you're screwing in your CO2, it's plastic against metal. Uh, so it, it, there's a lot of times that these will leak because you don't have it tight enough. So fine line between over tightening it and actually having it tight enough to where when you pull the trigger, it's not gonna leak. Um, the remedy for both of those problems is put on a Merciless Lethal 12 gram adapter. So now it no longer hangs low and it's metal on metal. So the, there's a metal tube in here that attaches versus that plastic thing that's just holding it against the metal. So with this, once you put your um, light on, it's the way God intended it to be. It's flush with the trigger guard. It's right there when you want it, etc., etc. All right. So I do suggest if you buy a Berna LE that you upgrade to the Merciless Lethal. And again, the Merciless Lethal comp looks better than this. Um, I'm just not going to go through the trouble of changing it for this video. All right. So power wise, again, if it's doing what it's supposed to do, you're going to get about 24 joules. You will get more than one mag out of this. Uh, it does have... Um, nice white dot sights um 
you can change your mag so you can carry extra mags you can carry one with kinetics one with pepper whatever and you are going to shoot more than one mag on one co2 with this even though the power is lower okay so the trp so the trp Internally, other than the fact of they put a CO2 tube here and a separate magazine, uh, everything else about it is just like an FSC or a TCP. Uh, same uh, same um, regulator set up and all that. You can use pretty much any of the same stuff for it, like same barrels, whatever. You do have a longer uh, rail uh, it's still a touch too short to use most of the stuff, uh, ironically. Uh, I believe, yeah, that one will work, but it's, you know, it's a little little too, it's not really where it should be. So anyway, it would have been nice if they were going to do it to go ahead and make it, you know, one notch longer. Uh, that would have been better for a lot of stuff. You can still obviously use your smaller lights like that on it, and it works great. Big difference, like I say, it's got a quick pierce on it. Um, I'm not crazy about these mags. I had a lot of trouble, especially out of one of my mags. One of my mags is completely useless. The um, FSC mags, uh, I think they work better, especially you know using shape projectiles and stuff. They work better. Um, but uh, I've got this one working pretty doggone good now. Power potential is going to be the same on these. You're not going to get any power benefit. So one thing to note, um, like your Berna LE, you're not going to be modifying it. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's some people playing with stuff out there, but there's no turnkey modifications for it as it is right now. Um, with the TRP and the FSC and the TCP, you can buy chamber caps, put in a Milsig O-ring, uh, with the FSCs and TCPs, you get the 12 gram mags. You don't have to worry about with the TRP because it already takes a 12 gram mag. I do like the sights. Um, the FSCs have the same sights usually. Sometimes you're going to get FSCs that do not have the, the white dot sights. So anyway, um, so your TRPs, your FSCs, and your TCPs, you can buy barrels all day long for them. Uh, there's a big, big aftermarket uh, availability for stuff with these. Now, the downsides of these. So first of all, with an FSC, uh, this one is a short build. This is one of my personal ones that I carry. So I made this one as short as possible. There's hardly anything that will fit on that. Even the even these, you can flip your base backwards. It looks stupid, but to get one of these to fit, but even your smallest lights do not fit on that. Typically, when I build one of these, I will put like a, a little longer barrel and I'll put an extra comp on it like that. So that's the size it will typically be if I modify one. Um, so um, whenever you check that against the TRP, you're looking at you know pretty much the same size. Um, you do get, you know, more, uh, real estate on the rail. This is a mercy less lethal comp. Uh, you can put more stuff on this comp than you can this factory comp. Uh, this does drop it down a little bit, kind of like with the LE, but not as far, not as far by any means. Um, so barrels, uh, chamber caps, O-rings, anything that you need, parts for these, because this is a paintball gun. So parts for these are extremely available. And that is a very good thing. Now, downside of these, look down that way. You've got this piece that sticks out the side and this piece that sticks out the side. So let's look compared to the IntraBuster. See the difference in the width? So if you're wanting something to carry like inside the pants, concealed or whatever, that is the biggest downside of these. Um, they are very, very wide. So bear that in mind. All right. Power wise, out of the box, these are not going to do very much at all. Now, whenever you put a chamber cap on one of these, a decent barrel and a 12 gram mag, you're going to get about 40 joules. All right, roughly, give or take, depending on the barrel, whatever. Same with these, right around 40. I'm not sure why my camera is moving as much as it is. Hopefully, I'm not making you guys dizzy. So, speaking of 40, we've got the Grimberg Gavel. Now, 
This is the big comparison everybody's asking about is the gavel against this guy. All right, so the gavel is definitely more concealable. You can see it's shorter. Um, the gavel still sticks out a lot in the back, kind of like this one does. As you can see, both of these kind of have more on the back end than most, most pistols. Um, as far as length of the grip goes, the gavel is considerably shorter. Uh, the gavel, uh, again, this one out of the box, uh, the last time I tested it, I actually got 42 out of it, so pretty good. This uses a 16 gram cartridge. You just literally screw the cartridge in to activate it so there's no slapping it and no little, you know, no little thing like these have that you have to twist. You twist the cartridge itself. This one has a Wixen grip extension. That is pretty handy because when you want to unscrew it to reload it, you don't have to have the um, Allen key like that you do without that. Um, and then that brings me to another point. So this one does not have a magazine, so you can't carry extra mag. <clears throat> I've heard people say that you can shoot, uh, you can reload it and shoot off of 116 gram. I've never tried that because I really like this grip extension and with the grip extension you can't unscrew it without taking the CO2 out because it stops it. So I can't reload it anyway without taking the CO2 out so it's a moot point. If you can reload it you're only going to get you know one more magazine or one more you know loading full out of it before it's empty anyway. So there's that. So, um, so this one uh, tested at 50 by me and other people so this one is definitely more powerful than this one out of the box this one also is going to th this one you're only going to get one magazine full uh, of shots before it's too low to matter so you can carry an extra mag but the only thing that that's going to be good for really is if you want to carry like pepper in one mag or different kinds of ammo or whatever because once you shoot this mag, you're going to have to change the CO2 anyway. So at that point, you know, it's not like you're going to do a fast reload anyway. So it's kind of a moot point. Um, and unlike with the Berna LE, the Berna LE is uh, going to shoot more than one mag. So carrying an extra mag with it is beneficial. Plus the Berna LE is good for chemical rounds, like I already said. It's at that power level where it's good for either one. I use my Bernas a lot for chemical stuff. Um, we have probably more wildlife threats around here than we do human threats. Uh, I almost always, even though I do knock on Berna a lot, I almost always have a Berna in my vehicle uh, with chemical rounds in it for you know bears and stuff like that. Uh, and if you haven't seen, I uploaded a video, I re -up, I re-edited and re-uploaded a video of me shooting a black bear with a uh, Berna TCR and chemical round. So make sure to check that out. I'm pretty proud of that video. So uh, when you look at this guy, it's not adjustable either, but your power level is so high that this one is really in that area where it's probably not a good idea to shoot chemical rounds in it. Uh, the gavel at 40, yes, you can shoot chemical rounds in it. You definitely want to use either the Grimberg Kinetic Chemical Rounds, which are actually designed for it. Um, and those are heavier weight, so you get the kinetic goodness of the, the impact, but then they also have the you know chemicals in them as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, and I really like that. I carry it like that quite a bit, either with those or with the Jewel V3s or V2s. Works fine with any of those. Or the Duke Extremes actually hold up very well to this power level. Will they hold up in this? Probably, but you're really pushing it. You're really, really pushing it when you're getting up to 50. And again, you can't cut this down. So bear that in mind. Uh, FSCs are adjustable. So you can stick an Allen key in here and adjust it down if you want to shoot chemicals. Uh, one big advantage that the TRP and the FSC have over all three of these and the Salt Supply S2 for that matter is these will use shaped projectiles. So the TRP, FSC, or a TCP will shoot shaped projectiles so you can get some more distance, more accuracy, 
uh, opens up a lot more ammo choices, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this only shoots balls, 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 okay? All right, so <laughs> this is going to be a long video, and I'm probably going to repeat myself some, and I'm probably going to leave some stuff out, but anyway. All right, we got a salt supply company, S2. This is by far the biggest, biggest one on the table, so... Um, Next to the Berna LE, you can see bigger, longer, all right, giggity. Um, so this one is 20 joules out the box. Again, no no turnkey mods for these available as far as I know. So, you know, you're stuck at kind of 20. Uh, the the Intrabuster and the S2 both have the same piercing uh, mechanism. I have had trouble with this one, so I'm a little apprehensive of this. I've had to, uh, the little set screw that goes in here, I've had to Teflon tape it a couple times because it was leaking. After the second time, now it doesn't really release gas nearly as fast as it should, uh, so that kind of sucks. Uh, and just recently, I have had this one not reset after shots for two two cylinders, but then it started working fine again, but still, did have a little bit of issue with it. Um, this is a good solid piece, but again, it is it is the biggest thing on the table. And I'm going to see if I can fix this table. Hold on. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but I felt like it was wobbling the whole time. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, so slapped pierce. Uh, the, the thing about these, the magazine is out of it. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Where is one? Here's one. So the magazine goes in the end of the barrel like that, goes under the barrel. You do have to have the safety on to eject the magazine. There we go. Uh, it doesn't eject the best. Usually better than that. There we go. But, um, you know, that part I'm not, not very crazy about. This guy is really, really good for chemicals, uh, and you do get more than one magazine. I think you actually get, you get three. I've tested this one quite a bit. Check out my other videos. Uh, pretty sure you get three full mags out of this one. Uh, the mags are cheap. Uh, so I like that. So this is really good, really good for chemicals. So to recap, good for chemicals, good for kinetics. Good for chemicals, good for kinetics, as long as you use the right ones. Definitely more powerful. This one pretty much only good for kinetics. This one good for chemicals or kinetics. It's also adjustable just like this one. Same with this one. Shaped rounds are good for this. Shaped rounds are good for this. Uh, then we come to a Berna SD. Now, I love the Berna SD. I like the SD better than the LE because of the size, for one thing. Uh, for another thing, even though this is only 10 joules, it's very consistent. Um, and I've had, like I say, a couple of these and an HD. I've still got my original HD. Zero problems whatsoever. Uh, I do use chemical rounds in these. The good thing about this power level, you can use even Pepperball uh, brand chemical rounds. Pepperball brand is the most fragile of any of the uh, chemical rounds that I've tried. Uh, so you definitely would never want to put a Pepperball brand in this. Like I say, Duke or Grimberg brand period in this at 40. Um, a Pepperball in a Pepperball brand chemical around in this, I know would bust. <laughs> you might get a few off, but I, it, I would never try it. Uh, with these, you can cut them down and use, you know, weaker stuff like that or, you know, leave it at 40 and shoot Dukes or whatever and not even have to cut it down because it's just not going to be the same power as that. All right. Um, and again, these use pretty much any pepper round that you want in it. And that is primarily what I carry with this. Other than the Glock, uh, this is the most concealable thing on the table, um, and it's the quickest. The burners are the quickest because, you know, you got the uh, piercing when you pull the trigger. So nothing else is going to be as fast as that. Well, that, that's debatable because like with the S2 and this one, you know, it, when you pull your grip up, you can hit it and it's activated. 
Uh, so, you know, again, that's debatable, but there is an extra step that you don't have to worry about with these. Um, so, you know, whatever. You can take that with a grain of salt. The, uh, and this is about, like I say, 10 joules, so 20. Um, this guy here, you're looking at five to seven. Now, don't get me wrong. People are modifying these some, like Sean with Less Lethal for Dummies has been playing with one, getting a little more power, but there is no turnkey stuff for these. Uh, there, There is a spring, a magazine spring that you can uh, buy from Home Defense 24. That's going to give you just a touch more power, but you're still going to be in that, you know, five to seven range. Uh, so nothing even as strong as this. This is a 43 caliber. So your uh if this was 10 and this was 10 this is going to do more uh this is going to do more for less lethal than this. So when you deal with smaller projectiles they have a greater chance of penetrating if they have enough power but they're still not in the range of like a firearm so you're not going to get tissue cavitation you're not going to get uh, like internal bleeding kind of stuff. They're not going to go deep enough to really matter. So it's better to keep all that energy on the surface with something bigger like a 68 caliber. Uh, another thing with the smaller stuff, a lot of people think, okay, something moves fast, it's going to sting more, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's all about the energy. Um, you take something that, it, it's like if you throw a ping pong ball at somebody or you throw a bowling ball at somebody. You can throw that ping pong as hard, ping pong ball as hard as you want to, but the air itself that it's going through is going to slow it down because it weighs nothing. Um, you know, just the resistance of going through the air. Uh, so, you know, uh, you're going to get more of an impact with a heavier round and you're obviously going to have heavier rounds when something's a 68 caliber versus a 43. You're looking at double the size. All right, so this guy here, this is the um, HDR50. This one has the Home Defense 24 pin, the restrictor removed, and the Home Defense 24 barrel. Um, I just tested this one before the video because I just wanted to see. Uh, I was hitting 16 with it. I believe I've hit 21 maybe with one of these. I may be wrong. Don't hold me to that, but I just tested this one. It was 16 a second ago. So this is a 50 caliber, so a little bit bigger than the 43 caliber, still not a 68 caliber. Now here's the thing. Uh, this one does have readily, readily available uh, mods for it. You can put longer barrels. You can do a lot of stuff. There's carbine kits. There's everything. These are their own animal, and I don't mess with these nearly as much as a lot of other people. There are people getting over 100 joules with these, no problem. Of course, they're not going to be this compact and look like this when you're getting that much power out of them. But, uh, and they're not going to be, you know, the subject of this video is stuff that you can, you know, carry concealed. Uh, once you get to doing that, you're dealing with a much longer weapon. But just so you know, this is something that you can, you can buy stuff for, modify or whatever. Um, these are, tend to be pretty doggone reliable. Uh, you can shoot shaped R balls in these. There's a lot of ammo choices for these. Uh, you can carry extra cylinders. Um, you know, they're pretty good. They've got a really good rail on the top and the bottom. Uh, so you can put all kinds of accessories, optics, whatever you want. So these are good. Um, as far as size goes, um, you know, they are definitely wider, definitely bigger than like the gavel. Um, so, you know, it, it's to each their own. Again, the, the most... The easiest carry thing on the table is this. Unfortunately, it's also the weakest thing on the table and least effective. The easiest thing to carry on this table that will actually do something is going to be the gavel. All right. Um, now, I'm going to say this because these two are, you know, really people are really, you know, going between which one of these two to get. I'm not going to tell you which one of these two to get, but I am going to say the same thing I've been telling people in emails for the last few days. I just got this. I've shot, you know, three or four cylinders through this. I don't know how this is going to hold up. I do know that it has good power right out of the box. Um, this is made in Taiwan, and it's stamped in very bright letters on the side of it telling you that. So um, I do like the fact that this is made in America. I do like the fact that, and like, like I say, there's... There's all this debate about where these are even made, who makes them, who who designed them, blah, 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 blah. 
uh, different places you can buy them from, but made in supposedly one place, but different people selling them, different branding, all that stuff. The Grimberg gavel is made by Grimberg, sold by Grimberg, and serviced by Grimberg in the United States of America. So that gets a lot of points for that. Uh, and again, it is more compact to carry and everything. Um, either one of them has something sticking down on the bottom of it. I'm not that crazy about, but hey, whatever. I'll still take something that's 40 that has something sticking down I have to twist over something that's, you know, 10 or 20 that, you know, uh, especially, well, this is much bigger anyway, but even over this. Um, again, I do love these, but more for animal protection than people protection <laughs> or protection from animals instead of protection from people. Um, the gavel, um, has a good, a good rail section. Uh, the gavel looks really, really good with the mini Valkyrie. It fits it like a glove. Um, the gavel has good holster choices from Grimberg. The only issue I have with that is, uh, he makes everything for like the Viridian laser, which I'm not uh, really a fan of. So you can get a nice holster for this with the, if you want to put the Viridian on it. Uh, I think it looks clunky, and I've had them before, and not not the hugest fan of the Viridian stuff, um, even though they are American made and the Olight stuff is not. Um, I would rather have more options holster wise, but at least this does have holster options. Now, my boy Greg sent me a holster. He's uh, started making some holsters, uh, East Coast less lethal, for one of these. Um, but as it stands right now, I don't think I don't know that there's any holsters available for these. Shadow Defensive makes some stuff for the um, the uh, Burna stuff. Uh, Grimberg also makes some stuff for the FSCs, or at least they used to. Um, you can find holsters for the FSCs and stuff uh, out there because again they are a paintball gun as well. Uh, so you know stuff available. Um, they make a holster for this, but it doesn't fit a light or anything. Uh, but there is something available for that. I don't know about the S2. I want to say that there's not one available. I, I don't know that I've seen one, but I may be completely wrong for that. Uh, here's the, the other thing. And it's just a shame that these don't have more power because this fits any holster that a Glock 17, you know, like a Glock 17 holster fits is perfect. So you can buy a Glock 17 holster with, you know, made for a, a TL, a, a TLRH or, TLR1 HL, and, uh, you know, you've already got, you know, something that fits it perfectly. And, you know, quite frankly, let's see here. This thing just looks sexy. <laughs> it really does. It's a shame. If this thing was 40, uh, I'd throw everything else away. I'd throw rocks at the rest of this stuff. But uh, anyway, so uh, your Berna LE, once you do the conversion on it, you know, it's going to fit your stuff. Um, it's going to fit your stuff perfectly. It's where it's supposed to be. I already showed you guys that. Um, I think even Shadow Defensive maybe is making, I, I don't want to say. He, I, I got one from Shadow Defensive that fits this. I don't know if he is, um, if he's selling them regularly or not. Uh, I will put my discount code for that. I'm going to try to link as much stuff uh, as I can. Uh, as soon as the video gets up, the links might not be there. I typically go back and do the links after I upload the video. So anyway, uh, I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, but again, with your with your Glock, uh, pretty much anything that fits a real Glock is going to fit this. So that's really nice. So lots of options, lots of options for holsters for this. Is this strong enough to carry for defense? Probably not, <laughs> honestly. Um, I think maybe a headshot with this would probably uh, deter somebody somewhat. A headshot with this at 10 and a, a heavy ball uh, can actually you know, do some damage. Uh, it's going to stop somebody. A body shot, if somebody's wearing any clothing at all with this, is debatable. That's why I say pepper. Now, here's the, the good news. Not sure how effective it would be, but they do make some pepper rounds for this, the 43 caliber pepper rounds. Of course, they're tiny, so they don't have a lot of pepper in them. So I think you'd still want to be aiming for the head with those and, you know, whatever, hope for the best. Uh, it's a whole lot less pepper than what you get in a uh, one like this. So anyway, let's see. 
<clears throat> what else can we talk about? So power wise, I think I've covered all that. Um, the sights, let's go back to this. The sights on this, you've got um, some a uh, some green. Um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I'm trying to say carbon fiber, but uh, no, not carbon fiber. <laughs> Fiber optic, fiber optic. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I had a major senior moment there. Um, so fiber optic sites, um, they do not have an outline around them. And what I mean by that, um, so like the this Berna, this is the high-vis version that comes with the uh, fiber optic sites. So you see how the front sight has like a white ring around it. Uh, I wish the back did too, but these are definitely, as you can see, these are definitely better sights than what comes on the intra buster uh the gavel again glock like sights uh i like that they're not exactly glock sights but they're extremely similar and i used to do a lot of glock shooting in my day so i'm definitely more comfortable with with this setup here um as far as fast acquisition and stuff goes um I painted the front side of this white. These things have horrible sights. Uh, they're just, you know, they're just horrible, uh, especially for fast acquisition. They're really horrible. A standard, well, now this is a LE. So the LE, this LE has pretty doggone good sights. Um, this, you know, pretty much clock sights. <laughs> so, you know, um, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Types of CO2 used. This uses a 16 gram threaded, uh, so that it does make it a little different, but you can get those on eBay, Amazon. Um, all the rest of these use eight or uh, 12 gram, except for this one. This one uses an eight gram. Uh, you can put the Merciless Lethal 12 gram adapter on either this or the LE. With the LE, you're just getting rid of this plastic thing that doesn't seal right and drops everything down. If you put one on this, then you're actually upgrading it to 12 grams, so you're going to get more shots out of it and everything. So you will have something sticking out the bottom, but again, they do make the comps that press fit on like these, and they look really nice. So, you know, there you go. I have my HD upgraded to that. I keep this one like it is uh, for concealability. Other than a Kimber Pepper Blaster, which I'm not showing that off in here because it's a pepper, it's it's something that squirts a gel of pepper, uh, so it doesn't really fall into this whole category here. Other than that, this is the one that I uh, do the most concealed with, and I have a shadow defensive holster for this, a uh, very nice holster. Uh, so there you go. And they, they definitely have some available for these, even with some different light options, or at least they did last time I checked. All right, now, um, I will say this. If you are worried about an animal, um, especially something lower powered like this, you should probably shoot into the ground in front of the animal. Animals have much uh, stronger senses of smell than we do, um, and animals also have a lot more fur on them than we do. Uh, so if you shoot like a bear with one of these and it doesn't have much power, uh, chances are it's just going to bounce off and not bust. So if you shoot into the ground right in front of them, you get the cloud of, of stuff up. It still gets in their nose. They still run away. So that is uh, is something to consider. Um, yeah. All right. So that's pretty much it. Any questions? Good. Good. All right. Bye. Hey, guys, make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, all my videos are demonetized now, uh, so go back, check them out. No ads anymore. Um, and again, I'm going to make a video about that and explain why I did it to start with and why I got rid of it. But uh, yeah, check out my stuff. I got a lot of videos. I think 1,800 if you're just joining for the first time. So make sure to subscribe and check all those out. And uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Now, um, just a side note. You can take a FSC and, and turn it into a monster like this, too. Just saying. Just saying. And if you really want to step it up and carry something you can't conceal, yeah, nice custom VKS. Yeah.
Lots of options for less lethal. <laughs>